Vamos! Barcelona win 4-0 at the Camp Nou in another superb performance, this time against Valladolid. So, in terms of how we set up today, we set up in our 4-3-3. Ter Stegen partnered Valde, Eric Garcia, Araujo, and Kunde in a pretty phenomenal performance. In terms of our midfield three, it was Gavi, Pedri, and Busquets, and we lined up with the front three of Dembele, Lewandowski, and Rafinha. In terms of our possession, we dominated 68% possession to Valladolid's 32, 24 shots to Valladolid's 8, and 9 fouls to Valladolid's 8. Now, another superb thing about this performance was we had a lot of really good runs um, behind their defense, which is why we got a lot of offsides, which includes inner fouls. We dominated them in terms of the amount of chance we created, and of course, we dominated through our possession as well. I think continuing with how we performed, we had 14 corners to Valladolid's 4. A lot of them came into quick succession, and we had about just about 10 in the first half, which is just phenomenal for Barcelona. We also had 636 passes to Valladolid's 305 and an 89% pass accuracy to 73% for Valladolid. I think one of the main things about today's performance was the fact that we of course brought 83,000 plus fans to the Camp Nou which was huge. I think in the game against Vallecano we, hit, we brought just about just over 81,000 fans and we did the same today as well. Of course this is our second successive win. In La Liga, of course, we won against La Real 4-1 in um, the Anahuata Stadium, and today we were able to do it at the Camp Nou as well. This puts us third in the league temporarily, but of course, a lot of teams are still yet to play, such as Atletico de Madrid, Valencia, and of course, Real Madrid at the time of recording as well. I think continuing, we have three very important matches coming up against Sevilla in La Liga, Victoria Plezen, of course, a very good side in the UCL, of course, and we of course have Cadiz, which is going to be big as well in La Liga. I think moving on to our substitutions today, Rafinha, Dembele, Gavi, Busquets, and Araujo, who all started the matches, came out as well. Ansu Fati was able to make a 30-minute cameo, which was pretty big. Ferran Torres came for 10 minutes and was also able to make a cameo, regain his fitness a little bit. Frankie de Jong also came in around the 30 minute mark and was able to have a pretty good influence of the game. Very came very close to scoring a goal as well. Kessier came in in that sort of number 10, number, not number 10, but more of like a number 8 sort of position. He partnered Frankie de Jong along with Pedri as well. I think when you look at Sergio Roberto, he came in for just the last few minutes and was able to score a goal as well. So very good performance from Sergio Roberto as well. When it comes to our player ratings, Ter Stegen of course deserves a 7, two really important saves along with some very important clearances and distribution as well. I think our back four, back four was also very excellent with Balde getting a 7, honestly he even deserved an 8, superb performance from him, a lot of good overlapping runs and just a pretty dominant performance from the Spanish international. When it comes to Eric Garcia and Araujo, also very good performances. And honestly, it just shows that a good partnership with a good goalkeeper could just do so much for this club. Because Araujo and Eric Garcia, who looked very good last season, have just been on a completely different level. Especially Eric Garcia. Amazing distribution with his passes and just a superb performance. With Kunde, made a lot of good overlapping runs. Made a huge goal line clearance and was defensively superb as well. We had a midfield that was also very superb in Busquets, Pedri and Gavi. All amazing performances. All had so much control over that midfield. Busquets was able to intercept passes and really make sure that Barcelona's game was all in the opposition's half. Pedri, I believe at some point in the game, had made 10 long passes and completed all 10 of them. Which just sums up what a brilliant match he had today. I think Davi was just a pressing monster, could have honestly created 2-3 to three chances just by pressing the opposition, amazing performance from him. I think our front 3 which consists of Dembele, Rafinha and Lewandowski all played superb. It was very much an interchanging front 3 because Lewandowski would sometimes come into that left wing position, Dembele would move on to the right and Rafinha would come on to the left. But superb performance from all of them. I think Dembele deserves an 8 because he of course did a lot of really amazing moves and a lot of tricks and of course got 2 assists as well. One, with, one was a no look assist as well which is superb. Lewandowski deserves a 10. He just did about he just did everything that you could possibly want from a striker. Linga play was amazing. Goals were amazing. Superb performance. Rafinha, I think, was just a difference maker from that right hand side. And he brought that Brazilian samba that Joan Laporta was talking about during his presentation back to the camp new.
I think if we move on to some more notable performances, it was of course Kunde, who has played very well today again. I think in the right back position, he's really fitting in pretty comfortably. He's still not in peak fitness, but still a really good performance from Kunde. I think both Lewandowski and Sergio Roberto really didn't have much to prove, but was an important performance for them. I think Sergio Roberto, who's been criticized so much by all Barcelona faithful, including me, has just put another interesting performance where he's either scored a goal or done something in the few minutes that he's had in the game, as we saw against Manchester City. I think moving on, Rafinha also played really well along with Lewandowski. A lot of good connections are being made up front with all of the front three and Rafinha is proving once again why he's such an important figure to this new Barcelona team as well. I think really to sum up our performance, really great result and great performance. This is not something we were able to say last, last week but this week amazing performance and really an amazing result as well.